the German language distance learning program for beginners. This is a joint program conducted by the Indira Gandhi National Open University in collaboration with Max Müller Bhavan, the German Cultural Center in India. Herzlich willkommen zum Fernkurs Deutsch als Fremdsprache für Anfänger. Ein gemeinsames Programm zwischen der Indira Gandhi National Open University und dem Goethe-Institut Max Müller-Pavel, dem Deutschen Kulturzentrum in Indien. You're listening to Radio D, the radio language course of Redaktion D. A joint project of the Goethe Institute and Deutsche Welle Radio. The author is Herat Mese. Hello, welcome to episode six of your German language course. To put you back in the picture, journalists Paula and Philip are in a picture postcard castle in Bavaria built by King Ludwig II, who died in 1886. Mysterious things are happening there. As they investigate, Philip and Paula have another very weird encounter. In the palace, they see a figure wearing a glorious coat, a mantle, lined with white fur. Hallo, liebe Hörerinnen und Hörer. Willkommen bei Radio D. Radio D. Die Reportage. Listen now to that encounter. What mantle is the man wearing? And what is it he's claiming? König Ludwig. Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. Wer sind Sie? König Ludwig. Wie bitte? Ich bin König Ludwig. Philip and Paula are stunned to see the man wearing the mantle of King Ludwig. Das ist doch... Das ist doch... Der Mantel von König Ludwig. Many pictures show Ludwig II with a splendid blue coat lined with white fur draped over his shoulder. Confused, Paula asks the man who he is. Entschuldigung. <coughs> Entschuldigung, wer sind Sie? Imagine the two reporters' astonishment when they hear the man claim to be King Ludwig. König Ludwig. Wie bitte? Ich bin König Ludwig. So, here's this man claiming to be a Bavarian king who's known to have died in 1886. It's really weird. It has to be said, though, that to this day it's not certain just how Ludwig II died. What we do know is that five days before his mysterious death, he was forcefully abducted from Neuschwanstein Castle. He was accused of not attending to his royal duties and just squandering money on building palaces for himself. The Bavarian government had doctors declare him insane, He was taken to another castle in Bavaria near a big lake, the Starnberger See. Radio D. 
Radio D. Das Hörspiel. And what happened there? Listen to two versions of what could have happened. Here's the first. Majestät, wie geht es Ihnen? Ach, Dr. Wooden. Das Wasser. Majestät? Nein, nein. Halt, Majestät. Halt! Halt! Was machen Sie denn? Halt! Halt! Hilfe! Hilfe! Now that's one version of what might have happened. His Majesty the King is strolling on the lake shore with his psychiatrist, Dr. Bernhard von Gooden, who's supposed to keep an eye on him. But the depressed King walks into the water and his doctor can't stop him. Both of them drown in the struggle. What machen Sie denn? Halt! Halt! Hilfe! Hilfe! Well, we won't be looking any more closely into any of the inconsistencies. For example, how the two of them could have drowned in such warm, shallow water, and why the king's watch stopped an hour and a half before his doctors did. But they're things that make other people believe the following version. Version 2. What's happening here? Ist klar. Still. Achtung. Und geht. Und. You'll have heard a shot there, so we're obviously dealing with murder. Many royalist Bavarians believe King Ludwig was murdered, and as long as the king's descendants refuse to let his corpse be examined, stories and speculation will continue to abound. Well, let's leave the mystery now and ask the professor whether at least the language is a bit clearer. Und nun kommt unser Professor. Radio D. Gespräch über Sprache. Well, Professor, would you describe German as a clear language? Hello again, everyone. Well, I would say that as a language, German is certainly clearer than the death of Ludwig II. It's clear, for example, that normally every German sentence contains a verb and a noun or pronoun. Let's concentrate on the verb for now. A verb tells what happens or what is. Kompu claims, for example, to be doing research. Recherchieren. That's the infinitive form of the verb in German. That's the form in which dictionaries list verbs. Recherchieren. 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 Listen to it again and pay particular attention to the ending, en or n. Recherchieren. Recherchieren. In German, verbs change their form depending, for example, on whether one's saying something about oneself or about somebody else. Listen to how one uses a verb to say something about oneself, for example, who one is, or where one is, or what one is. In those cases, the verb is the second word in the sentence. Ich bin Kompu. Ich bin bei Radio D. 
Ich bin Redakteurin. And the personal form of the verb has to go together with the corresponding personal pronoun. That's right. If someone is speaking about themselves, they have to add the personal pronoun, I, ich. Let's hear it again. Ich bin König Ludwig. If you're asking a question about a person, you use the interrogative or question word who, wer, as you already know. But please note in the following the different forms of addressing someone. First, the courteous personal pronoun for you, Sie. Entschuldigung. <coughs> Entschuldigung. Wer sind Sie? In the following, listen for the pronoun friends would use for you, du. Wer bist du denn? Ich bin Kompu. Okay, thanks for now, Professor. You're welcome. Wer bist denn du? Ich bin Kompu. Und wer sind Sie? Ich bin König Ludwig. Wer ist denn das? Das weiß ich nicht. Ich bin ich. Das weiß ich. And listeners, here are the scenes for you once again. Paula and Philip spend quite some time in Neuschwanstein Palace. And they come across a figure wearing a splendid fur-lined coat or mantle of the kind King Ludwig liked and is often pictured in. König Ludwig. Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. Wer sind Sie? König Ludwig. Wie bitte? Ich bin König Ludwig. The king's death is a mystery. Here's one version of what could have happened. Majestät, wie geht es Ihnen? Ach, Dr. Wooden. Das Wasser. Majestät? Nein, nein. Halt, Majestät. Halt! Halt! Was machen Sie denn? Halt! Halt! Hilfe! Hilfe! Or it could have happened like this. Alles klar. Still. Achtung. Und geht. Und. Und. 
In the next episode, we'll be talking less about the death and more about the life of King Ludwig II. Liebe Hörerinnen und Hörer, dann bis zum nächsten Mal. You've been listening to Radio D, a German course of the Goethe Institute and Deutsche Welle Radio. Besten Dank, dass Sie unseren Deutschkurs für Anfänger eingeschaltet haben. Detaillierte Informationen über den Kurs bekommen Sie im Studienzentrum, Regionalzentrum und im Max Müller Pavel. Thank you for tuning in to our German language program for beginners. Detailed information regarding this program is available at your study center, regional center and at the Max Müller Bhavan. Thank you.